I am Artur Polowski, born behind the Iron Curtain in Poland, crushed by the Iron Fist of oppression. The armed forces now rule in Poland with martial law and the threat of execution for those who break it. The horrors inflicted by unchecked despotism have burned their mark into my memory. The December of 1981, when martial law turned our cities into shadows. The biting winters when the quest for bread met with empty shelves. The silenced voices of cutting forest. These memories led me to vow never again, never again would I bow to tyranny, never again would I let freedom's voice be muffled. This promise guided me to Canada, a beacon of liberty. Now you can keep it. I have a court order that says your actions are illegal. Back up, respect my rights. Freedom it is more than a word. It's a measure of our humanity, courage, and determination. It's a cost borne by soldiers, journalists, and volunteers. We are providing necessity. But when the shadow of tyranny found me again, denying me the right to serve the needy, disregarding its own rules, I remembered never again. After receiving new enforcement powers for public gatherings Thursday, Calgary police have arrested Arthur and David Pawlowski. Get out of this property immediately. Get out. Premier of Alberta right now declared the protesting is illegal. So when I opened my church in the protest against the government overreach, I spent three days in jail for my crime of opening the church in a free and democratic society. Like a soldier, I, I've tasted the bitter price of freedom, endured the cold handcuffs and harsh judgment. The soldier stands unflinching, knowing that freedom bears a cost. There is a price to pay. Like a journalist, I've dared to speak truth to power. My voice not in reverberates through Calgary and beyond, fulfilling the duty of free speech. Like a volunteer, I've served my community with deeds, not my words, knowing that true freedom lies in service to others. St. Augustine, a pillar of our Christian faith, said, hope has two beautiful daughters, anger and courage. Anger at the status quo, and courage to change it. From my house arrest, I pose this question to you, honorable members of the European Parliament. How many nights in cold cell would you endure for freedom? What lengths would you traverse to defend your people's rights? You see, I have spent 50 nights in jail standing up for our right to gather and worship. It's time to rise to say never again to face the lingering shadows of the 20th century, to challenge the injustice of today. It's in your best interest for people like me to survive. Because when we go down, be sure of it, you will be next.